you were wondering what I was going to do with this little MP3 player module I talked about a while back, here's the answer. This is a rough, unfinished prototype of my portable speaker testing jig. And uh, what I'm going to use this for is uh, just to carry along with me in anywhere I might come across an untested set of speakers, whether it be at a yard sale or in a building that has like ceiling speakers, for example, that need to be tested. Uh, just anywhere you, you need to try out speakers before hooking up your good equipment to them, this is the tool for that. Uh, it's basically that MP3 module that's loaded with some test tracks like pink noise and left-right channel tests, uh, sign sweeps, things like that, as well as some normal music. Um, there's a small 15 watt per channel Dayton amplifier module in there and um, some other goodies. What makes this unique versus a standard portable music player is the fact that it can directly drive 70 volt speaker systems. Flip that toggle switch there to select whether you're using uh, standard 4 to 16 ohm speakers or over here for 70 volt speakers and you just move these plugs over to to that. I did it that way so that it couldn't be mixed up. Um, on the front panel there's a line output jack which is coming directly off the mp3 module. That'll just uh, give you something to test an existing amplifier if you want to know if that's working or not. Uh, power switch, power LED, and the volume control for the amplifier board. Uh, the inside is still a wiring nightmare um, and I've also run into some defective parts. I actually had a defective potentiometer for that amplifier board that was causing the right channel to cut out constantly and uh, where the lead on the potentiometer was crimped onto the carbon element was actually loose. So I had to take care of that to even get it to work. Uh, the switching regulator module that supplies the 5 volts to the MP3 player is putting some noise into the signal so I'm probably going to either beef up the filtering on that or take it out and use a, a regular like 7805 linear regulator IC which I, I didn't want to do because those tend to waste more power than this does and running on uh, 8 AA batteries um, you want to conserve as much power as you can. I've gotten a pretty impressive amount of runtime out of this so far uh, despite the problems I've run into. Uh, one of them being the battery holder got grounded out on the bottom of the uh, line output jack and, and grounded out four of the batteries one time when I was testing and put the cover on and forgot to insulate the battery holder. So that wasn't cool also found out that either the mp3 module or the amplifier module, one of the two, has the right and left channel markings reversed because when I play a test track it's backwards uh, versus what it is on, on my computer for example. Uh, these little transformers are the 70 volt output transformers. They're made by Ed Core Electronics right here in the USA. Um, these are specifically designed to take a 4 ohm amplifier and allow it to drive 70 volt speakers uh, as well as 25 volt speakers but I'm not using those taps. Um, but yeah it's still quite a mess in here and the next one of these I build is going to be quite a bit nicer and more polished and I've also got another mp3 playback module. This can actually play other formats as well and it's got a, a tuner and some other goodies on it. Let's see, where's the where's the faceplate? Here's the faceplate for that. So I think the next one I build um, come on camera cooperate. The next one of these I build uh, might have this higher end module installed now, because this module really doesn't have the best sound quality in the world. In fact I've discovered that certain tracks do not really agree with this module and the they, um, they sound very scratchy sounding on this. Um, despite the fact that it's running off 8 AA batteries, uh, this thing has an impressive uh, capability for loudness and at about 15 watts per channel it can run pretty much any set of speakers to a realistic level for testing purposes. And uh, I don't know how long it'll run for but I'm guessing probably at least an hour which is plenty for testing. And uh, it does what it needs to do.
track that's scratchy sounding. Not sure what the deal is with that. Other tracks play just fine on this module. idea. I'm probably going to build a, a better one of these, like I said, a little down the road. Uh, this is just a kind of a trial project and uh, just to see how things work out. But I'm sure I'll, I'll make use of this.